Hello and welcome to Under the Tree with me, Monty McPhee. Today's programme is jam-packed full of news and Christmas spirit, as I'm joined by my special guest, Brendan White, who's obsessed with all things Christmas. But first, let's discuss the recent headlines with Matt Adams. Good morning. Earlier this month, the comic book legend Stan Lee unfortunately passed away at the age of 95. He was responsible for iconic and much-loved superheroes such as Spider-Man, the X-Men and the Hulk. He sadly passed away due to a case of pneumonia, which is an infection that damages the lungs. The celebrity tributes have been flooding in since the late director's death. Ant-Man and the Wasp star Evangeline Lilly tweeted, Stan, more than a master of stories, you always seemed like a master of living. I will look to you for inspiration for the rest of my life. You live on, your Wasp. And Wolverine star Hugh Jackman also paid his respects by posting a photo of him and Stan Lee on social media sites with the caption, we've lost a creative genius. Stan Lee was a pioneering force in the superhero universe. I'm proud to have been a small part of his legacy and to have helped bring one of his characters to life. Our thoughts go out to his friends and family at this time. In other news, on the 19th of November, it was officially World Toilet Day. And although it sounds weird, it's for a good cause. The event was organised by the We Are Water Foundation, whose mission is to ensure that everyone has safe sanitation by 2030. As shockingly as 62.5% of people worldwide do not have access to safe sanitation. That's approximately 5 billion people with either safe drinking water, a safe toilet or even both. You can donate to this great cause by checking out the We Are Water Foundation website. But we can have a look at some local news now. Uh, Bournemouth University students held a silent disco at the old fire station on the 13th of November to raise money for Cancer Research UK. The group Students Kick Cancer arranged the night and managed to raise over £2,000. Wow, that's impressive. If you miss this great night out though, don't you worry because Students Kick Cancer are hosting many more silent discos this year with the next one on the 16th of February. In other news, the annual fundraiser Children in Need raised a massive £50 million in donations last Friday, meaning that since the show began in 1980, they have raised over £1 billion in total. As always, the donations will be spent on numerous projects, helping children and their families worldwide. If you would like to see where your donation will go this year, then check out the Children in Need website. Now, let's go straight to the weather. Well, there we go. This week so far, it's been pretty chilly. There's been widespread frost, uh, plenty of cloud and temperatures just above freezing. Uh, today though, should stay dry, especially in the, uh, the eastern areas. Uh, for the far west of Scotland, it should stay largely sunny in the afternoon. There'll be sunshine as well for much of Wales uh, and in the southwest. For the, uh, the upcoming week, temperatures will remain above freezing, about uh, three to five degrees Celsius for many of us. There'll be a few showers across the, uh, the southwest of England uh, and across Scotland up there as well. Uh, well, uh, that's it for today. That's your uh, current weather update. So stay in tune for the latest weather updates. Anyway, back to you in the studio, Monty. Thanks, Matt. Now, a topic everyone has been talking about this month is the Toast Tuesday student night out being moved from Yates Pub to Revolution Bar. Let's join Michael Feeney for the full story. On Tuesday, the 13th of November, the infamous Toast Tuesday relaunched at Revolution Vodka Bar, moving from its original home at Yates Pub. This is due to the closure of Yates to become part of the Slug and Lettuce pub franchise. It can be said that Revolution provided many benefits, such as a bigger dance floor, the popular drink VK being sold for just £1.50, and also a guest list providing free entry. But despite these benefits, students have mixed reactions about the controversial move of Toast Tuesday. We've gone to Bournemouth University to hear what you have to say. I'm quite loyal to Yates, so I've not been to Revolution for Tuesday. Like, I quite like toast. Like, who ever thought like a night out you get toast? But 
Red and truthfully, like Toast Tuesday at Revolution, I heard Revolution's quite big, but I quite like how the size of Yates was. Even though it was small, like I could bump into people from a course and like people from my societies and stuff. Um, I haven't been to Toast Tuesday in forever, but when I found out it was moving to Revs, I was really excited. So hopefully we're going to get like our whole society along and do a big event there. It's perfect move for it. The opinions are still mixed, but will Toast leave or will it remain at Revolution? I've been Michael Feeney, reporting for Under the Tree with Monty McPhee. Now it's time for me to introduce my special guest, the Christmas obsessed, Brendan White. Hey Brendan, welcome to the show. Now, I have to ask, why do you love Christmas so much? Oh, it's just, you know, seeing everyone at a dinner table at Christmas Day, the joy on everyone's faces. There's something about Christmas that's just so happy and makes everyone so happy. No matter what your day's been, and if you had a long week or something's happened, you know, everyone's so happy and wanting to see everyone yeah. and catch up. Yeah, I could talk about long days, let me tell you. Oh, no. I love a good break. <laughs> um, do you, so you spend it with your family? Oh, most, yeah, of course. Every yeah. year? Yeah, we yeah. all sit around and go into my parents' house and we all have now, Christmas around there. Oh. A little birdie tells me <laughs> that you celebrate Christmas once a month, every year, all year. Oh, that's absolutely true, yeah. I'll uh, at least find a, you know, one day a month where I can have Christmas and celebrate it. You know, I have friends that, are, that say, why do you do that? But... I think that if you take a break just once a month, you know, you can be so happy and sometimes people need that break. Sometimes do you celebrate that by yourself or do your family get back well, together? Well, I mean, I try to celebrate with family, but they sort of don't really get where I celebrate it, like in February or March, but... Yeah. So. Did you um, go to the Christmas light tournament last weekend down there? Oh, I did, yeah. I wouldn't miss it. You wouldn't miss it for the world, of course yeah. you would. No, no, no. Wasn't it great? I thought it was absolutely yeah. brilliant. What did you make of it yourself? Oh, it was, I thought it was brilliant. The lights were so nice as well, and like, all the nice. fireworks at the end. That's what I love about the lights for as well. It's just that after it's been done, the fireworks go off. It's, everyone's so excited and happy for the fireworks. What do you make of the layout of Bournemouth now, how they've just turned around the town to this, like, Christmas wonderland? Oh, the market, yeah. The market's so nice. And, like, all the stalls, and I saw the ice skating. I haven't been on the ice skating yet, but I've seen yeah. it. What do you... I'm like, looking forward to going ice skating. Ice maybe skating. we should go together we sh Maybe we should, yeah. We should. Last Let's time I've been ice skating, now. I... Yeah, fall over a lot. <laughs> I don't, are you good at ice skating yourself? I've been a few times, but I wouldn't yeah. say I'm. I wouldn't say I'm good. <laughs> um, l last year, now, did you go anywhere special for Christmas? I know you celebrate it every no, no, we, oh. every month, but for mm. the main event, do you go anywhere nice? Didn't did last year. Um, we don't really go away because I like. But my blackout at Christmas is I spend time with the family and everyone, and everyone's always there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think maybe next year we might go away. Maybe somewhere cold and oh, yeah. really celebrate Christmas. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. What's your the best present you've got so far for Christmas? I mean, all my presents have been from yourself yeah, to yourself. From oh no no no, 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 no. I always get presents from other people, oh, because, nice. especially yeah. on Christmas Day. I mean, when I celebrate it in the year, it's just me to me. But <laughs> yeah. <for> Christmas Day, <laughs> I get, everyone gets presents and I send presents. Um, yeah. Hmm, a difficult one. Different. I quite like the like novelty gifts. So I once got like a Santa sleigh, but it's like a money box. Oh, nice! Yeah, that's nice. That's and I really love that, especially yeah. when I was younger. What's your favourite food to eat at Christmas? There's so much food going around at Christmas time. Yeah. What's your, what's your best bit of it for you? Mm. Well, obviously it's the main the main roast. The main roast. But like the one key item out of the roast, that's got, got to be pigs and blankets. Pigs it? in blankets. Who I'm doesn't love big pigs? Big fan. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes a Christmas dinner oh, for Oh, definitely, me. yeah. What about Brussels sprouts? What are the views on Brussels sprouts? Mm, not the baby cabbage. Uh, oh, baby cabbage. That's what mm. we call it in my family. Yeah. I'm not a big fan, but I, I like them. They're, they're part of the roast, aren't they, at Christmas? You've got to have them on the plate. Oh, you have them on the plate. I personally don't eat them. You kick them off the plate. Oh, flick them. Man. The dog <laughs> can have those. So I care. That's brilliant. And what sort of things do you do you give yourself throughout the year as a little treat? Well, as in Christmas gifts. Yeah. Oh, I've got. A, usually, there's somewhere online I can find myself a little Christmas gift I can give myself. Like, that's, that's yeah, wrap nice. it up. Yeah. And what about mince pies? We have we have a few here. We're gonna we're oh. gonna taste. Um, would you like to? Would you like to? Join oh, I would love to. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah, you're a fan of mince pies. Oh, I love mince pies. Please tuck in, help yourself. I'd like to get your uh, opinion on them. Now, these mince pies are all student-friendly prices. Are all student-friendly prices, um, and but they won't damage the bank. That's it. Watch the crumbs. Watch the crumbs. How's that? Mm. Is it nice? Yeah. You can't talk. A bit dry. It's too good. Too good. Wow. Mm. That's a big one. Do you mind if I, I'm going to try this bad boy? 
like that. Five more minutes. But it's very nice, isn't it? Look, very nice. The decoration on that is fine. I mean, this one's got like a little little lattice and stuff. Mm. Don't want don't to mm. ruin it, really. No. Mm. I do like mince pies. The design that goes into them is really well done. Mm. Yeah, I like what's in them, personally, myself. The mince. The mince itself. <laughs> uh, would you care to try the other two, please? Okay. Mm, yeah, go, for, no, that go for that one. Don't want to ruin the design. It's a bit stuck to that. It is a bit stuck. There we go. It's all right. Put it back down. Tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Great. Yeah, enjoy. Did you like that one? Mm. Bit, bit messy, that one. I suppose you've got a lot of flour on it. A lot of crumbs as well. A bit crumbly. No, it's a bit nice crumbly. Oh, Do you want to try it? Well. Tell me what you think. I'm really want to know. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really tasty alcohol in that one. Like that one. Mm. Mm. Big fan of alcohol. Uh, would you like to try the last one for me, please, Ben? Yeah, let's go for it. I'd like to get your opinion on, on these mince pies. This one's a nice, uh, that one's, this one's more like a, not the bottom one. Yeah? Mm. It's mm. like a bit more pastry. Mm. Mm. How was that one? I mean, a lot of pastry. A lot of pastry. Mm. A bit too much pastry? A little bit, yeah, but it's still nice. Yeah? A little bit nice. Now, which one was your favourite? <laughs> what did you say out of those four? Oh, I really love mince pies. This is half me to choose. Mm. Um, do you want to go for that one there, the one on the left? I, the I would be inclined to agree with yeah. that one. Yeah. I, I personally like that one. But it's got, it just tastes a bit more juicy, doesn't it? Mm. It tastes a bit more juicy. Well, would you like to know how much they cost? I'll go for it. Yeah? All right, so <coughs> we have the, the one that you preferred, which is from Asda, which costs one pound, which is 20p each. Wow. Um, the ones from the co-op cost two pounds 60, and they're 60p each. The ones from Tesco, um, which I personally thought were a bit dry, um, mm. cost one pound 25, a bit steep, but 20p each. Now these, from the coffee shop, cost 70p each. Now I could probably taste that in the mince pie itself. Yeah, I, I really right could taste that. I Quite think nice. that's a really nice mince pie. But there you go, that's um, how much the mince pies cost. It's, it's okay. weird how they vary, isn't it? Yeah. Very difficult. Definitely. Right. Um, Trying to move on? That that is okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try another mince pie. I think. I'm gonna try another mince pie. That one. Yeah. I'm gonna it. try a bit of this one. This one is quite nice actually. You like it? Yeah. I'm gonna keep these things. I need to I need to get more mince pies. I'm you know I got some with a certain month and now I've just sort of run out. Mm. You know it happens with Christmas stuff with me. I bought three boxes at the start this week. Wow. Yeah. All gone. <laughs> what? I love them. Oh, you can really taste why this one's much better. There's not that much meat in it, but... We're not in the pie. Oh, it's no. pie, yeah. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today on Under the Tree with me, Monty McPhee. Brendan, thank you so much for joining oh, us today. Pleasure. It was a pleasure. And um, I'd really like you to tuck into the mince pies. Which because one? I can't finish them off. Choose. Come on. I'd like to, anyone you like, just tuck into the mince pie. Okay, this one here. And um, before you do so, I, w I think we should all pull a cracker together. Okay, let's do it. Yeah? Are we going to do two each? No, we'll go cross.